In this video, I will go over the homework that goes over the material introduced in lecture uh, 24.1 called Differentiation and Polar Coordinates. And as always, I hope that you watched this uh, lecture. And let's go ahead and start the homework. And the first question is asking to find the slope of the tangent line to a given curve at a given value of theta and the first step is to parameterize the um, curve and we're going to do that using this formulas so x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta and instead of r, we're going to plug in uh, 10 cosine theta. Uh, we're going to simplify it just a little bit. So here we have 10 cosine squared theta. And here we have 5 sine of 2 theta. This will make it easier to differentiate. So instead of the product rule, we'll use the chain rule. And to find the slope, we're going to um, use the following fact. And then we're going to use the rules of differentiation for uh, parametric equations. And we're going to find derivative of y. With respect to theta, it's going to be 5 times cosine of 2 theta times 2. And derivative of x with respect to theta will be uh, 10 times 2 cosine theta times negative sine theta. Let's simplify it. So we have 10 cosine of 2 theta. And here we have uh, negative 10 sine of 2 theta and now plugging everything in to this formula we get 10 cosine of 2 theta divided by negative 10 sine of 2 theta so the answer is negative cotangent of 2 theta and we now need to evaluate everything at theta being 4 pi over 3. So let's plug in 4 pi over 3 into this expression and we get negative cotangent of 2 times 4 pi over 3. Uh, so we have 8 pi over 3. So I'm going to do it by hand. So we have cosine of 8 pi over 3 over sine of 8 pi over 3. Uh, cosine of 8 pi over 3, it's same as cosine of 2 pi over 3, uh, which is uh, 2 pi over 3, so it's negative 1 half. And this is positive root 3 over 2, so it seems like the answer is 1 over radical 3. Now we can check our work here. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's um, graph this curve. So we have r is equal to ten cosine theta. So we're going to parameterize it. So x is equal to 10 cosine uh, squared t comma 5 sine of 2 t um, t goes let's say from 0 to 2 pi um, and then we're also going to visualize this motion uh, we're going to plug in s equals so 
when s is equal to 4 pi over 3 this is the point and the question is is the slope there equal to uh, um, what we said it is which is 1 over square root of 3 and let's see so it looks like that's that matches it right so it does look a line or it does look like the tangent line has this slope so let's go ahead and enter it and um, it looks like they just use the formula which I wouldn't recommend I would recommend you to simplify this expression before um, differentiating it uh, so as you can tell our solution is much simpler than this one all right let's continue uh, which of the following is the value of theta where r equals e to the power 8 theta has a horizontal tangent line so let's do the same thing we're going to parameterize it so x will be equal to r cosine theta so it's going to be e to the power 8 theta cosine theta y is equal to r sine theta e to the power 8 theta sine theta so we're looking for the values of theta when the slope is equal to zero so to find the slope we're going to differentiate um, but we're going to differentiate um, with respect to theta as we previously learned in the chapter on parametric equations so here let's hit the pause and let's find the derivative of y with respect to theta so we're going to go with the product rule e to the 8 theta derivative of this times sine plus this times the derivative of sine which is cosine and derivative of x is very similar although it's going to be e to the 8 theta times 8 cosine theta plus e to the 8 theta minus sine theta so now we're going to continue writing the slope and it's going to be dy d theta so e to the 8 theta 8 sine theta and we can factor out e to the 8 theta And similarly in the denominator this is cancelled and now we need to set this equal to zero and solve this um, equation so this is equal to zero when the numerator is equal to zero Now isolating theta, here's how we're going to get that. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have 8 sine theta is equal to, negative 8 sine theta is equal to cosine theta. And then we're going to divide everything by cosine theta. So we have tangent theta, negative 1, 8. So theta will be equal to arc 10 of negative 1 8 plus uh, pi k so it looks like we're going to have many such points and why because it's a spiral and uh, as a spiral it will have infinitely many points where the line is um, the tangent line is horizontal but one of such points is 
going to be this one because arctan is a node function so negative can be passed through the function all right uh, number three we have r is equal to negative ln theta and theta is equal to 8e and we're going to parameterize the curve so once again x is equal to r cosine theta which is negative ln theta times cosine theta and y will be r sine theta which is negative ln theta times sine theta and we're going to find the slope and the slope will be equal to dy dx evaluated at theta equals 8e let's just call it theta zero and we're going to use the fact that this equation is parameterized so this is how we find the derivative and then we're going to evaluate it at that theta now dy I don't know what this thing is. dy d theta is just the derivative of y with respect to theta. So y prime is going to be, uh, we're going to use the chain rule, I'm sorry, product rule. So it's going to be negative 1 over theta sine theta minus. Um, ln of theta times cosine of theta and then x prime will be very similar so negative 1 over theta times cosine theta plus ln of theta times sine of theta now we're going to throw everything inside of this expression and in the numerator we have negative 1 over theta sine theta minus ln theta cosine theta in the denominator we have negative 1 over theta cosine theta plus ln theta sine theta and we evaluate everything at 8e now due to the nature of this expression either way it's going to be some uh, transcendental number so we might as well just throw it in a calculator uh, the way it is so let's go ahead and plug this in so we have uh, negative 1 over uh, theta sine theta minus ln theta times times uh, cosine theta all that cosine plus sine and theta is equal to 8e and for some reason it just doesn't like it I'm not sure why it doesn't it like it, but I'm going to replace theta with um, alpha. And that's the answer. So approximately this will be equal to 3.7617 and 3.76 is the answer. Um, I 
feel like we already had this question answered. It's this. And the idea is that if you know how to find the slope of the tangent line, then you can also use the point slope formula to find the equation of the tangent line. But this is it for this homework. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know.